So many of you at home are trying to spin and rotate your hips as fast as you can in transition. And this is a move we see so often and really can be detrimental to your golf swing. It's not something we actually encourage. If you watch our channel, you might go through the video titles and stuff and think, oh, these guys are just all about rotating the hips. Just spin it wide open. I think people have the misconception that we're trying to open the hips. Yep. When in reality, that's not what we're after. We actually, we love rotation. Yes. But not necessarily spinning the hips and, crea and creating this big separation between upper and lower. Right. So Henry Fall, Milo Lines route, again, a beautiful superstition mountain. And today we want to talk with you about how to properly get our hips rotated and get that open look at impact we so often talk about. But there's a right way and there's a wrong way. And we've seen it done before the wrong way and it can cause a lot of issues. So you, you go back, just begin with Tiger 2000, right? He was working on Butch Harmon, getting rid of this ole move, right? So spinning, twisting, creating a lot of separation in his upper body and lower body. And when we see that big separation between upper and lower body, we see the pelvis rising too soon. Mm -hmm. We see the chest kind of falling back, the club falling back, and now the player is forced to do some magic with their hands at the bottom and flip. It also... That just hurts. <laughs> yeah. It's detrimental to our bodies. You can hurt your back. So there's a far more efficient, dynamic, safe, way to create that impact look you guys see where our pelvis has turned or rotated but we also have depth and our chest is still stacked up we're still getting our chest stacked up and open versus that sort of ole move we talk about where you kind of push the pelvis up and in you spin the hips no doubt they get open but you're all out of whack here. Well, you're in super, you've got your hips extended, you got your lumbar spine extended and twisted. It's like ouchie ouchie yep. city there. So yep. what are we doing to get open instead of spinning? If we're, if, if the, we're getting open, we know, we, we see the best players are getting open, but what are they doing to do that if they're not just spinning everything? Number one, it starts with, let's start with depth, okay? Having depth. So pelvis depth or hip depth? Depth that's gonna help create that look right off the bat. I would say secondly, there's some drop in the pelvis and transition. You see the guys that are really creating that more rotational pattern, they have a little lowering, their head's lowering a little bit. Everything's kind of flexing in transition. So those yeah. are kind of the two things I see is that the flex and the depth. So that the lowering and the backing up, that alone, now we're in a position where we can safely turn and get our chest unwinding. Yes. Just like you see in pretty much any other sport, hockey. Baseball. So people might be wondering, why does he have this running through his belt loops? This can actually be a very good drill for teaching you to create that little drop in your pelvis. So you're dropping yourself to square, but I didn't spin. So if I, would, if I were to spin, my hands and the club would be on the wrong side of the stick. Yep. I'd rip my belt loops out, which I've seen done. So my goal is to be able to create a little bit of hip flex as I turn into the golf ball. So this can be a really nice training tool for learning that. So Milo, go ahead and make that backswing again, and then slowly start to transition. So as you flex and drop, get your pressure back a little to your lead side. I noticed this, this stick goes kind of down and then back up and around the plane. So why don't we point to the camera so they can see that. I'm actually gonna take this stick and make it a little longer on your lead side so they can see that. So it's gonna go down under my club and then back up and around the plane. Yeah. So for those of you that are looking to get those, you know, your two butt cheeks at impact, that look from down the line where you see the pelvis, you know, open and on sort of a, a little bit of a tilt, that's the, that's the look right there. It all starts in transition with that little bit of lowering, flexing, and then that sets up the turn.
just like in any sport, you can't really twist or really torque unless you actually lower first. You That's think of the figure skating. Getting into the ground. Exactly, so you have to lower, because if I just start from here and twist jump, I really can only get maybe, I don't know, 120 degrees. Now if I lower, what was that, 390 degrees maybe? <laughs> <laughs> I got all the way around and then some. Yeah. And that's all because I could flex with my knees, my hips, lower into the ground, get my chest a little stacked up, and then, and then really use that to spring. So instead of trying to spin out of the top and create all this separation and X factor, let's get things lowering, stacked up, and now I actually feel like your chest, this is a big part of it, your chest can keep going around the corner. Yes, I feel like my, my chest actually, once I've created the drop, I feel like now the hit is with my chest, boom. So I Flex. load, I create the drop, and now, boom, lead side goes around, chest gets out of the way. So shall we hit one? All right, so Milo, before you go ahead and hit this, if you guys are new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you get notified when new videos are up. We got some awesome drills and exercises we show you on this channel. And let's talk about this one you're gonna do right here. Before we get started, let's preface it by saying this stick can hurt you so let's be careful in the beginning you'll probably want to go slow especially if you are tending yeah. to be a slider spinner you'll wind up with your arms on the wrong side of the stick yeah probably best to have a cap on this stick too or something or make it long enough on this side so you can't get your arms on it mm -hmm. all you can do is hit it with your your forearms and one little extra thing you get out of this is that your arms are gonna start working a little more with your pivot as well instead yes. of getting trapped way behind. So it's kind of a double whammy. It does a lot of good things. When I see some people, when they use this drill, they they feel like their arms need to drop. In reality, your arms don't need to speed up to be able to do this drill. What you need to do is your arms just need to move with your pivot as you flex. Mm -hmm. See, I, I've created all the clearance I need. I don't yeah. need to drive my arms ahead of this. Well, and if you make a good wind up, show them a good wind up on the back end. Because that sternum, which is kind of showed by your mic here, gets wound up and turned to the camera, that right hip gets turned around as well. Again, we're not spinning, we're not spinning the hips on the back end either. It's a, this is another thing I see sometimes. It's more the chest winding up. Now our trail hip gets brought along, and now you have space there for your arms to travel too. Yes. So go ahead and show them that again without spinning your right hip back around. So now you got, look at all this space he has for his arms to just come on down with his pivot. So on both sides, let's take out the spin. Yes. We're not spinning our hips in our golf swing. We're turning our chest. The hips go back. They don't spin forward and flexing into the ground with our legs and our pelvis. So I like to feel back, back, and then, they, then I turn everything. I don't yeah. turn just my hips. Let's see it done in action. Okay. This stick. So I'll start with a slow one. Okay, not bad. So for those of you that are at home and feel like, man, I've never been synced up in my life like a Tor Pro, this is probably a pretty good drill that you could do. Obviously slow, be safe, put a cap on this stick or something. Yep. Do it without hitting balls at home. Learn the movement first. So for more drills and personalized coaching, come over to MiloLinesGolf.com where we can help you to be able to play the best golf of your life. Also remember to hit the like and subscribe and that bell icon. It really helps us out. And stop spinning. <laughs>